What is up YouTube? In this video, we are gonna try to create our own React to the list with the help of ChatGPT. So let's get started. So first we'll start with a prompt. So um, can you give me the code for a to-do list um, that will use React? And let's see what it will give us. Okay, it looks like it gave us the functionality for our to-do component, but it never told us how to uh, start the project with React. So let's say we are total beginner. So we'll ask it to help us set this up locally. So how can I run this code? or get started with create react app maybe. So let's see what it gives us this time. Okay, so it looks like it gave us the full instruction on how to get started with our app with just using the create react app. I think I do have it locally, so let's try running this command and we'll just call it my app for now and it says that create react app is not found actually so let's install this real fast go to our app that we just created with the slash my app and then let's try it one more time and here we have it. So now we have a running React app. So what we want to do next is let's see the code that it generated for us. All right, so we are in the folder. So we want to go to the SRC and we would like to find our app.js. I think we'll just replace this one for now. And let's just go back to our uh, chat GPT thread. So as it tells us, we would like to get our content inside of the src and let's go back to our code on the top and let's copy it. Place the to the list to our app that we used to use here. So let's just change the import to to the list, to the list and to the list here. And let's update the file name as well. So now we have this basic interface with some things that are in here and we have the buttons that are saying complete, uh, delete and let's test it. So learn about React. Let's say we completed this one and meet friend for lunch. Let's say we don't want this anymore and let's uh, try to add our own. So uh, make a website with chat GPT. And here it is, we have it. Now let's ask it to add some basic styling to it real fast. So we would like to go here and say, can you also give us some CSS? All right, awesome, let's just copy this code. Uh, since we replaced our app file with just our to-do, so we can just reuse the op.css that we have here and let's just replace this and let's move the font family inside of the to the list and let's just save it and see what we have here. So let's uh, try to add more things. So let's complete this, let's delete this and now we have a fully functional to do app and we did it with ChatGPT, so it's pretty cool. And thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.